Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I'm going to try and do, I don't know what to call it. I'll figure it out as we go along. But first I got to do, I want to do my eyebrows. They don't have to be anything special. They just have to be filled in a little bit. I mean, I don't even really need to show you this part, do I? It's mainly just so I know where the line is. I'm going to use a Q-tip and what I'm going to do, because this is going to make it easier to paint over, we're just going to create a line by cleaning the makeup off with, see, yeah, I can see that a lot better. Just clean the makeup off with some alcohol. And we'll just scooch that off my face. Okay, now I couldn't find my white pencil, so I'm gonna have to try to use liquid eyeliner to create a thin line around each, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm gonna use some gray paint. And I got these brushes really cheap on Amazon and they're great for uh, stuff like this. I mean, mirrors right here, so I'm gonna look in that. Now we're going to fill the inside of these with red, and uh, this is going to be bright, but we'll darken it as we continue on with the look. Now we're going to go just on the outside of the red, but in the inside of the gray line. Now we're going to take some white body paint and a very fine brush and just highlight just barely above the black line. Now I'm going to go around the edge with kind of a dark contour color just just slightly to make it blend into my skin tone just on the outside of the line. Now I'm gonna go into the red with this kind of dark wine colored. Um, this is just a liquid lipstick and just pat on the red to make it, to give it more of a bloody look and then um, after I add the fake stitches and stuff, then I'm going to tap in scab blood. Okay, now we're gonna paint stitches on with this brown liquid eyeliner I have, and then I'm going to dash over them with just a hint of white to highlight it. Oh, and I wanted to say the open areas where the stitches are, that's because the stitches have ripped. So the stitches are still gonna exist in there. They're just not con connecting the skin anymore. Now 
Now I've added this right here because she has all these stitches ripping open on her face and surely there are some that aren't ripping open yet. So I put a slice along the side of her mouth here on this side. I'm gonna highlight it a little bit. And then another thing I did, which I didn't tell y'all about, because I didn't know I was gonna do it until I did it, is in some spots, like here, I'll do one right here, right where the stitch goes into the skin, I put little dots there to make it look like the entry point. I didn't do, an, do it on all of them, but some of them. But let me put some lip, lip color on. Now let me get my scab blood. Okay, here's my gelatinous scab blood. It's really gross and fun. And then we're just gonna dot it. Stir it a little bit, loosen it up a little. It's really thick and gross, like scab blood. And you don't want to like rub it on you just kind of kind of want to dab it on because if you try to rub it on it'll just get caught up in the makeup and make it all kind of smear and this is i think this is i don't know if this is bed and i i'm not sure what scab blood this is but it's a lot of fun but that's it um now i uh would put eyeliner and all that on but why would someone who has open um, stitches on their face bother with eyeliner. Anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think, Eric? Good job. <laughs> okay, if, if people ask me to, I will show how to do a similar look using latex and stuff, but I thought this would be a good easy look to do with just makeup and some fake blood. But anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, tell me what you're gonna be for Halloween, if anything. Uh, but by the time Halloween gets here, I'll be over it and won't be doing anything probably, but, and we don't get trick-or-treaters, so. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to all of you later. Bye.